You're, you're listening to Off the Tracks, your number one podcast right here on YouTube. You can even catch us on Audio Boom and Spotify. So, enough of me talking. Sit back and enjoy Off the Tracks. Hello and welcome to Off The Tracks, your number one podcast right here on YouTube, everything related to theme parks. This is episode number 26 and the date is the 19th of June 2020. Across the computer screen, we have an incredible person here. We have a vlogger, an actor, a writer, a singer, a stand-up comedian who actually was nominated for South Coast uh, Comedian Award uh, in 2020. Give it up for Kim Nash. (laughs) Thank you, thank you. It's weird hearing that. It's wow, weird. look at that. That was just like a huge intro. I needed like a... <clears throat> and all that lot. Jobs are good in. How are you, Kim, anyway? How have you been yeah, keeping on? Yeah, I'm good. Mustn't moan with everything going on. I know, I know. Well, fingers crossed. Obviously, this is pre-recorded. We're actually going to find out today what is going on. So, fingers crossed. <laughs> I can't see the parks opening this year. I, I don't know about you. I, there was a rumor going around that it's going to open in early August. I'm like, come on, let's be realistic. Come on. I, I, I just think trying to cap as many people as possible in a park, it doesn't work. It, you, it just doesn't. It, you can't do it. And with this whole self-distance thing in a queue line, you're going to be queuing up for about an hour just for Blade. Do you know what I mean? Because obviously everyone's yeah. having that two-meter distance. Yeah, there's people saying you can't social distance on a coaster. Some coasters you can, but some you can't I, I just to an can't. extent. I can't see that working at all, to be fair. But like I say, fingers crossed, hopefully. Um, well, I was actually saying um, that if they do open it in, say, say September and October, I'm not going to go because I think it would be absolute chaos. But then yeah. someone on the flip side says, well, some people may not go at all because they're just too afraid to go to the parks. So I don't know what to do. Yeah. I, don't know. I, think, I think if we're lucky, we might get like the Halloween season, if that. Yeah. If we're lucky. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Anyway, Quinn, Thought Park. I've heard it's your... You go to park. Is it your local yeah. park? It's the local Merlin one. Okay. So. So thoughts on uh, Thought Park then? Um. Any good? I like it. it. It's a good park. You know, I've been going now six years. Okay. Um, I remember when I first went, I was absolutely terrified of everything there because I had heard everything about like all the coasters, and I was like. All right, I'm just going to try and get on as many as I can without throwing up or anything. <laughs> and I, I came out that day and I went, wow, that was fun. Because those were coasters I'd never done before. Yeah, how did you get on with stealth? That is one I still haven't done yet. <sighs> Six years in the waiting. Wow. I must admit, it's quite intimidating when you see it. If you're not like a, yeah. a, you know, a coaster fan and you do see that and you think, oh my gosh, that's really high and it's the speed of it as well. I think, I think it's just the launch that's um, putting me off it at the moment, I think. Yeah, it's, it's extremely quick. I think, it, is it 100 or is it 80? I think it's 80, point? I think. Is it 80? I think it is anyway. Um, what other rides are there? You know, you got Nemesis Inferno. Did you go on that? Yep. Abs- it's one of them coasters Inferno that, People keep asking me, like, which do you prefer, Nemesis or Nemesis Inferno? I'm like, it's a one-sided argument because I haven't done the original Nemesis yet. So how do you expect me to, you know, yeah, say, oh, the other coast is better if you haven't done it? <laughs> um, yeah. So you've so never I, done a Nemesis? Never done it? Uh, I plan to get down there this year if anything allows it, you know? Wow. That's like... I'll tell you what though, mate, Alton Towers, oh, it's brilliant. Anyway, Thought Park itself, um, Tidal Wave, I absolutely love Tidal Wave. It's such a simple concept. It's just a bit what just goes down the hill, let's be honest. But the wave, yeah. oh my gosh, it's amazing. I love it. I, I love just standing at the side watching everyone by the bridge. It's absolutely <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> I, did get, I wanted some footage so, uh, of the big wave like, coming towards us. So I got one of my sons literally to hold the GoPro. I said, yeah, go on, mate, you're, you're brave enough. So I literally just stuck him there. <laughs> he just got absolutely soaked. It was funny, though. it was good. Um, but uh, I'd like to do Tidal Wave at night. Is that crazy? I think that's madness. I've heard it's crazy because you can't see anything when you're going down. So when you do hit the water, it gets you by surprise, <sighs> which is weird considering the type of ride it is. Yeah. Can you imagine, though, being soaking wet through, you know, at like 10 o'clock at night? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. You should see it at Fright Nights. Everyone does that. 
Everyone you know, just runs to it at 10 o'clock at night and just goes on it because it has a goal queue. It's like, you're absolutely crazy. <laughs> well, what, what are the mazes like? I've never been to a Fright Night at uh, Thought Park. Are they any good? It can be on and off. They can be on and off. Um, I think the worst year that I've done Fright Nights, and I've been going now three years, was 2018, where they went for quantity over quality. Okay. So they just shoved mazes wherever they could get and just went, you know what, here's a story, here's a story, don't care if it don't make sense. <laughs> but last year was absolutely brilliant. Last I, year. I, I do really want to um, go, to be fair. Um, I, it's like I've never been to Walton Towers Scarefest either. Um, I've been to the one, there's a place in uh, Twin Lakes called, uh, oh, what's it called now, Danny? Is it Fright? Scare, Scarefest? No, is that Scarefest? Is, no, Scare, I don't know what that one is. The one at Twin Lakes, it's, a, it's amazing, incredible. I have done oh, those. Yeah, I, know, I know what one you're on about. I can't yeah, think for the life of me what it's called now. I've even got a jumper upstairs. Scarefest. The Extreme Screen Park, I think. That's the Extreme, that's yeah. the one, yes. Yeah. Awesome, brilliant. I go to that and I'm like, it's traveling up there, you know. I'm on the south coast, it's all the way up the other end. (laughs) Oh my gosh, yeah, it is is quite far. Um, I have done the Orlando ones, um, the Universal Studios. I prefer Twin Lakes to Universal Studios every day. I, I'd rather, I'd rather do that because what happens is over here, I think we've got it right over here. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen videos of the Orlando ones, yeah. Yeah, definitely. The Orlando ones, they've got they've got the scenery, but they haven't got like the actors fully putting the effort in like we do over here. Exactly. And over here we, we kind of um we put people in groups as over there they yeah, kind of like a through. yeah, like a conga line. So people are jumping out and they're like, Well, I know where that person's gonna jump from. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't I wasn't too uh, keen on uh, Universal Studios. I think my expectations were extremely high. Don't get me wrong, the the set pieces and the actors walking around and stuff were yeah, that's, brilliant. That's you what know, makes people want to go because they got all these big IPs and obviously it's Universal, so they're going to get the people in. Exactly. Um, I bought in my eyes. I, I don't think it's that fantastic. Um, anyway, Chessington World of Adventure, good um, park. All right, park. Yeah, I I, I personally enjoy it. It's it's one of them parks which I like because it's really spread out. It's not all like like with Thorpe, it's all compact. Yeah. And you've got ride, ride, ride. With Chesington, you've got ride, bit of walking, ride. Yeah, definitely, 100%. Um, it's a shame that, obviously, because that, they've got that uh, new area, haven't they? Uh, I do yeah. think it's just for the little ones. Uh, where they got, I think they've got like a drop tower. I think it's two little tiny drop towers. Uh, is it two? Or is it one? Yeah, what it is, pretty much, it's where the Gruffalo Arena was, they've just expanded onto that. Right, okay. So they've just put, like, a log flume from Sea Life in Weymouth, and then right, they've right. just built a little tiny area. I was there on its opening day. It it looks good. Oh, what, what this not, year? You were here? Yeah, this year. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, so I did manage to get parking, at least. Fantastic. Um, so, but did you did you see the area then? So, have they finished it, or are they yeah, still tweaking? It's all finished and it's all open. It looks good. It looks really good, but it's not my sort of, you know, yeah, demographic. But I think for the demographic they're going for, it's brilliant. Oh, and then obviously this happens, and they can't even show it off. Oh, that's, that's a shame. Although I did hear that they've. Um, I, I, I speak to my good friend uh, Alex, um, and he says that they, they've they refurbed the um, oh, what's it called the dart ride. Tomb Blaster. Tomb Blaster, that's it. It's um, absolutely brilliant now. It's absolutely brilliant. It feels like what it should, what it was before. Right, you know? yeah. Like, in, in its past, it used to be like proper sort of dark, horror sort of theme. And then they sort of toned it down. Right. But now they've brought it back to similar to what it was. And it it's a lot better. Yeah, they've got a new yeah, they've got a new soundtrack, obviously in the station it's fairly dark in there as well. They've got great smell pods and stuff. Um yeah, I've heard a lot, to be fair. Um it's it, brilliant. It, yeah, it absolutely it, is. It's kinda it's kinda gone up. However though, what is your favourite ride then at Chessington? Vampire. Got, yeah, I knew straight away. I, I was about to say, don't say anything, I bet let me guess. Yeah, I bet it would be vampire. Yeah. What a I ride though. It's, it's a good yeah. ride though, isn't it? Yeah, and it's unique because it's aerodynamics and Vacoma at the same time. You don't get many of them around you don't and you know it's older than nemesis i know right that's crazy man they, How... they were gonna do like a 30th anniversary thing and then this all came oh, up oh there were so many anniversaries this year 
so many. Obviously, Alton Towers celebrating its 40th. Uh, yeah. I think Skegnest, I think that was celebrating its 25th. I could be lying yeah. there. I, I'm not 100% sure. Um, and obviously, yeah, Vampire. There's another one as well. Oh, it's going to really irritate me now. But yeah, there was, there was quite a lot of um, celebrations this year, which has obviously gone a bit peak tongue. But uh, I, I must admit, Chessington World of Adventure, it's a, it's a good park. It is. Um, I don't like the, uh, you know, the Africa Zoo bit. You know, when you yeah, go. I'm not. I, when I go, I don't. I only go over there if I just want to kill some time. If queues are big, yeah, I know what you mean. Although, what do you reckon then to the uh, the gimmick of that Tiger Rocks? Then it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. Like the station's good, but the rest of it, it's just like a normal log flume. You know? Have you actually ever seen any tigers when while you're on it? Because I've never once. <laughs> once more than I have. I've done it. And I've done it now over 15 times. So, you know, it's... Look the lo- it's the look of the draw, isn't it? And then, yeah. Um, but yes, I must admit, which one do you prefer then? Chessington or Thorpe Park? I know it's Thorpe Park, isn't it? I think... Yeah, I think Thorpe for like the thrills and like for the better scare event. Yeah. But Chessington just for a more relaxed atmosphere. Definitely. 100% definitely. Um... I must admit, I need to get back to Chessington. I didn't go last year, um, and it's been a while, to be fair, if I can remember. Yeah. Um, but I do go to Thorpe Park quite a lot. Although I live in the Midlands, it takes me about three hours to get there. Uh, and usually, sometimes, I spend, I spend two days there. I usually have a hotel overnight, and it's kind of like, do Chessington, and then yeah. I do Thorpe Park the next day while I'm down the area. But yeah, last year, I didn't spend any time at all at Chessington, which is really... Mm. I don't know why I didn't do that. That's really odd. I think one thing with Chessington is you need to try their Halloween event. One of the mazes they had there last year was insane. Was um, it? I didn't even know they did horror mazes. Yeah, yeah. the only proper horror maze they've got is called Creepy Caves on Earth, and it's in the old like uh, Creepy Caves um, animal exhibit thing. Right. Okay. What they did is they closed that down and just made a maze within it. Right. And last year they did a sort of an extreme version of that, where right. nice. what happened is you got grabbed, pushed. I got slapped in the face. What? It was funny. <laughs> Anyone else going through that was screaming. I'm just laughing my head off. That is how I deal with scares. I just laugh it off. A nervous laugh. Like, oh. I must admit, scare, scare mazes, um, back in the days, years ago, I used to um, create scare mazes at my workplace. And um, I was never really terrified of scare mazes because I used to create them. So, you know, it, it was nothing of it. But yeah, the one that, uh, like I say, at Twin Lakes, it's got me a few times. I must admit, I'm like, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey. Oh. But yeah, if you ever get a chance, though, uh, okay, make sure you go there, mate. It's good. Um, yeah, Portons Park. Portons yeah, Park. Portons. Let's do it. I wow. love Portons Park. Same, same. I've grown up with that park, really. I first went there in 2006. And I've been going pretty much ever since. Oh, it's just, it's such a cute park. You know, you've got obviously uh, Peppa Pig now uh, world, which is, you know, on the right hand side as you're coming in, I think it is. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. then you've obviously, uh, they haven't got great rides, like world class rides. They've just got yeah. nice, cute rides, if that makes sense. The Flat yeah. of the Pterodactyl, yeah, tour and um, they've got the Velocir, is it the Velocir? Velocir- yeah. Yeah, the yeah yeah. Um, I I love it. I think it I think it's a class park. Yeah, definitely. Like you look back, like with me, because I've been going since Cobra went in. Just seeing right. the park expand, not like, not like most parks where they expand out the land. They just expand within the land they've got. Yeah, I think it's brilliant. Like I will always support them. For what they're trying to be and especially with the new tornado springs coming in as well which obviously ain't happening until next year but I, don't understand, I don't understand why they're saying next easter well originally it was about to open this may but i think they're just pushing it back because a lot of the companies involved are from like germany and stuff and they can't get out right right like, just, okay just before lockdown happened the trains for storm chaser arrived on site right but before they could even get that on the track and start testing it, you know, lockdown. Right. I know, because there were literally, it must have been about 80% completed. It must yeah, have it been. Yeah, it. it looked it. Um, but unfortunately, you know, it is what it is. 
Oh. Yeah. So anyway, you have a YouTube channel called yeah. Nash Vlogs. Uh, yeah. So what do you do? Um, it's, well, it started off back in 2017 as a sort of variety channel. So it wasn't always going to be like the stereotypical vlogger uploading vlogs once they're all done. I wanted to create content that was always going to be there, even if there wasn't a vlog. Eventually, it then started creeping into the root of just vlogs. Then it creeped back out into variety. Then it creeped back in again. Right, okay. And now it's just a, I just call it a variety channel, really. So it's There's pretty much got... So it's got so it's got pretty much everything on there, yeah, guys. Make fun. sure make sure you go over there. I'll, as always, I always put a link uh, of our guests uh, in the description below. So um, make sure you go and click on that. Give uh, Kim Nash here some support. Um, as always, I like to do a quiz. Do 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 do. Are you ready? Yeah, bring it. Now, obviously, I have two quizzes. I usually have Alton Towers and Thought Pop, but because Kim, have you, so you've, have you never been to Alton Towers? No. Do you know what? I feel like I, I should take you. I feel like I should treat you, to, and I'll pay for you to get to Alton Towers, and you can be in one of my vlogs. We'll, we'll have a talk afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when it happens. Right. Okay. Uh, starters, Danny. Let's get the uh, Alton Towers one out of the way then, shall we? Let's get that. Okay. Thought Park. So do you, do you reckon you're quite clued up on Thought Park? Yeah, I reckon. I reckon ah, so. I'm loving the confidence, loving the confidence. Right, first things first, I need 30 seconds on the screen. Now, ding, there it is. Okay, okay Kim, you've got 30 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Are you ready? Bring it. Okay, <laughs> bring it, yeah. In three, two, one. What year did Thought Park open? 1979. Correct. What manufacturer is Nemesis Inferno? B&M. Correct. How many roller coasters does Thought Park have? Six. Wrong. How many water rides does Thought Park have? Uh, two. Wrong. What flat ride is near Saw the Ride? Samurai. Correct. What year did Darren Brown open? 2016. Correct. What area can you find Colossus? Lost City. Correct. Well done, my man. Well done. You got five out of seven. Um, the question was, how many roller coasters does Thought Park have? It has seven. Uh, I don't know. Off by art. Just only by Wikipedia. Uh, and how, how many water rides are there at Thought Park? They are four. Really? Yeah, because you've got um, uh, the, you know, the one where you first come into the park? You've got the one on the right-hand side, like a slide, water slide. Oh, you got I don't that one. Count Def Charger as a water ride. Yeah, Def Charger, that's it. Yeah, and um, you got that one as you're coming down through the entrance, the rubber dinghy one, and then you got obviously the rappers and you got Tidal Wave. Yeah, yeah. So four. That's, that's pretty good though. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'll be proud of that. Yeah. How about seven? To be fair though, I was running out of questions, so I'm glad that you finished there because I only got eight questions down. <laughs> Right, Kim, this is your time to shine. I'm going to give you uh, literally, well, you know what, you take as long as you want uh, to pretty much promote yourself. Tell, uh, tell the uh, peeps out here that how they can contact you and, uh, yeah, how great you are. So over to you, Kim. Yeah, so uh, you can find me on YouTube on National Vlogs where you'll find all sorts of content, very regular, try to do two videos a day. Um, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Instagram is going to be used, but just follow me there anyway. And yeah, if you want comedic sort of variety sketches or anything, theme park vlogs, fun fair vlogs, anything, the national vlog is where you want to be. Because hey, I don't bite, I love new people. <laughs> So there you go, uh, guys. So make sure you give Kim over here a awesome support. Um, guys, this is, uh, first off, though, Kim, have you enjoyed it? 
It's gone quick, Absolutely. Hasn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> No, thank you for coming on the show. And uh, viewers, don't forget you can uh, follow us on our social medias on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you are new to this channel, make sure you do subscribe and hit that bell icon every time we upload a new video. You will be notified. Once again, Kim and Nash, thank you once again for joining me here on Off The Tracks. And viewers, thank you for watching. So from me, Dan, and everyone here from Theme Park Family, take care. Bye-bye.